Sorry about the gross picture. It's there to get you thinking. I have a short devotional for you today entitled, Not Enough Salt to Burn Up Your Dump. Most likely, you're thinking, there's nothing like that in the Bible. And you would be wrong if you thought that way. Here it is in Luke chapter 14. In the same way, any of you who does not give up everything he has cannot be my disciple. Salt is good. But if it loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? Now listen to this part. It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure heap. It is thrown out. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Hi, Pastor Maurice here. I'm always amazed how many times we can read the Bible and just gloss over things until one day the Holy Spirit gets us to slow down and pay attention to what we're reading. It's almost like a lot of times we read and things just glass and go right past our conscious mind. Today, I just want to take a moment and break down verse 35 and explain what it means. You know, unless you have been to the third world, you, you probably have no real comprehension of what Jesus is saying. I've been to the third world and because of that experience, it makes a little more sense to me. And I want to explain that to you today. And the explanation is very simple. When Jesus was talking about salt and the manure pile, he was giving reference to a practice that was going on in biblical times and still happens in a lot of countries in the world today. Manure is used as a fire source and for cooking and all kinds of things. But the problem with manure is that it doesn't generate a really uh, great amount of heat. I mean, it'll burn, but it's, it's not the best. And I don't know how they figured it out. I don't know who did it, uh, why they were playing around in the manure pile. But somebody found that if you put salt in the manure, the salt acts as a catalyst and causes it to burn brighter and hotter and stronger. So you could cook things more thoroughly that you needed cooking. And so they would take salt and mix it in the manure. Gee, that sounds like a good job for the kids. Anyway, uh, not only would they do that, they would take a slab of salt and put it underneath the manure pile in their ovens. And between the salt that was mixed in and the slab that was underneath it, they, they would get a really a pretty good fire. But that slab that was underneath the salt eventually would use up all its properties that made it as a catalyst for fire. And that is what Jesus is talking about. And let me show you that in the scripture. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has become tasteless, how will it be made salty again? It is good for nothing anymore, except to be thrown out and trampled under foot of man. So when that piece of salt lost its catalytic abilities, the, the, the large piece that was underneath the manure, they would throw it out in their uh, in front of their homes and it would be like a walkway. It was good for nothing but to be trampled under feet of man. So that's the literal meaning. But Jesus wasn't trying to teach us about the literal meaning of salt and manure. He was trying to teach us about the spiritual meaning. And in this passage that we're looking at, there are a lot of meanings and things that we can learn from. But I want to key in on just one. And that is, I think that it's teaching if a man or a woman has spiritual salt within themselves, it will be used as a catalyst to burn up, forgive me for saying it this way, but the manure in them. In other words, it salt has the ability to deal with human sinfulness or our sinful nature. You know, Jesus is always trying to evict the devil out of us. Paul talks about, you know, wrestling, that, you know, the good he wants to do, he don't do. And what I'm simply saying is this, and what I believe Jesus is teaching is that if you have salt, if you have enough salt, you will 
be evicting and burning up that part of your nature that is contrary to his will and way. You know, sometimes we attack our sinful nature from the wrong end. We try to just deal with it in human effort. And I'm not saying you shouldn't make effort in and of yourself. But what I'm saying is, if you get full of Jesus, if you get full of the salt, that manure will burn up. And that's probably the best way to deal with it. Now, before I let you go, I want to give you one more thought to think about. And that is that while we're at home and we're going through all these things because of COVID-19, one of the really good things that has come out of it is that we have become a very thankful people. We're thankful for the first responders. We're thankful for the nurses and doctors that are risking their lives and nurses aides and all the other ancillary people. But we're also thankful for the truckers, the people that work in the grocery stores, the people that work in our restaurants. You know, the, what, the great thing that's come out of COVID-19 is that we have a new appreciation and spirit of thankfulness. Now, uh, something special I'd like for you to give thanks for today. And that is the next time you go in your kitchen and you see your oven. You know, you ought to just thank God that you've got a gas oven or an electric oven and that you're not getting out there and putting salt in manure and mixing them both together to make a nice warm fire to cook your dinner. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad that we passed from that time. And by the way, why don't you just take one more moment before we wrap up and ask God to increase the saltiness so that the manure, the spiritual manure that's still inside you would burn up. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to get closer to you. And as we get closer to you, make us more like you and burn up our sinful flesh. And I ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.